What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And we gonna go down the line <laughs> right here. Cause a lot of people didn't understand uh, things that happened back in those times. When Snoop was coming up in the game. When Snoop was coming up in the game, and when he first got started, he was chilling with Warren G and all that. They was working on the NWA Niggas for Life album. So, during that time, it was a lot of division going on, but you saw Dre, you saw Easy, and Snoop was just happy to meet them because. Easy used to have a Suzuki Samurai and used to ride it around and he was just cool. And everywhere he went, he was all khakied out, blue, you know, and you know, and Snoop rolled with the Crips too, so he he loved that about Easy, the coolness of him and he was mostly like, man, that's like me. He tried to be Easy E. So when Easy E and Dre started having conflict to where Dre was like, Man, I ain't being treated right. Man, these contracts are messed up. Why ain't looking out for me? Man, you letting Jerry, man. Jerry ripping us off. Man, we just cut Jerry out. And Easy like, look, man, you don't know what you're talking about. You you a guy that don't look at paperwork. <laughs> now you coming in here telling me who need to be fired. <laughs> like, look, I'll handle that. Ruthless will handle whatever Ruthless need to handle. It's not your problem. So, just make the music. You know, you taking care of you in a big house. So when he left, Easy felt betrayed because it was like, dude, you was sleeping on my couch. I had you sleeping in other people's houses on couches and stuff. And, and now look at you. You're in this big gigantic house. You know, you had the talent, true that, but I had to put up the money and believe in you to get here. And then for you to do this to us. And then Snoop. Somebody who idolized Easy E his entire time while watching him at NWA. Once they go and start making the chronic and start doing the Chronic album, Easy e hadn't even dissed them. He ain't said nothing to them. The album comes into each intro, Snoop is dissing Easy e Oh, Easy e was pissed. Now, Dre is somebody he know. They came up together. But for Snoop, to come along and start dissing Easy E. Now, now you cross the line. So Easy really had disdain for Snoop. After that, it's like, how dare you? Not you, out of anybody. And that's why he was like, dude, y'all some puppy pound crips. Y'all not really Crips. That's why Easy was like, are you serious? <laughs> this East Compton. So, y'all Long Beach, but this East Compton. And then for a little bit, it was a little bit of conflict between East Compton Crips and Long Beach Crips. And I mean, there was some knockout drag outs. And it was retarded to see two sides fight because of a, a misunderstanding between an artist and Snoop who now realized that was such a mistake to take that kind of stance, but he just was riding for Dre. You know, like, man, you know, Dre's the one that's putting me on and all this, you know, so I'm riding with Doc, we got DLC over here, we got Dre with us, so it's... That's who we started with, you know, DLC mentoring me and and doing all this, so 
Snoop just come out dissing Jerry Heller. He don't even know Jerry Heller. Or Easy. That's what it's like, dude. This is backwards. If Dr. Dre was saying that, okay, but you get Snoop to say it? Oh, yeah. What was the walking tattoo? A.K.A. Jerry and Easy. Sincerely yours. These motherfucking niggas. I don't want to work with Jay. I don't want to work with Oh, yeah. They, they went way beyond what they were supposed to do. So when when Easy came back with the, his own Dre, most of his attention was on Snoop. And the Dog Pound, and he wanted the, the Dog Pound Crips. That was it. Daz, corrupt, and don't forget the Ruthless Radio interview. Who could forget that? When they all just called Ruthless Radio because Easy E is a visionary. He came out with this radio show where he basically paid for it because they had the airtime, and that was a good way to promote and and get their new artists and their outlet out there. It's smart. Now everybody does it. But back then, it was unheard of. So he looked like a genius in hindsight. They was like, man, he's, he's a genius. But on the what would you do? What would you do if we rode on you? <laughs> He really wanted to bring it to them, the dog pal. He was like, I'm going to get some guys from East Compton, some rappers, and we for the ride on the DPG. We ain't worried about Dre. <laughs> we want the dog pal. Because they was very disrespectful. And I think That if they didn't have that confrontation on the radio, that it probably wouldn't have went as far as it did. But it was on, you know. And Bone Thugs got involved because it was on, and they didn't realize how crazy they was gonna have a time going to the Midwest because of that Bone situation. You just can't up and come to Cleveland and do a show if you just Bone. Not back then, uh-uh, you was going to have some static. And they weren't some, even though they on the West, these dudes, like, look, we broke. We come from nothing, man. We we from all this talk and nonsense. They looking like, in order to tell somebody they ain't nothing, you got to come see them, bro. So, Dre put out this thing talking about some, yeah, man, we're going to get with Ice Cube and we're going to put this album out. Album called, uh, he was going to put out Health the Skelter, but they were talking about doing NWA over and calling it Niggas Without Easy. Yeah, man, we, we, we talking about working on this record, you know, putting an NWA album out. Yeah. But it's gonna be NWE, nigga without easy. And we just put Snoop in the place of easy. I already got it. We're gonna talk to Rand. And then we're gonna put, you know, Cube and myself in there. Then we'll get Snoop. So, you know, that didn't work out. <laughs> so, um,. But let's listen to the radio show. This was Dog Pound called Witness Records and EZ. You probably got something to add, so why don't you go ahead and drop that? Yeah. Uh, 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 how much sense y'all got? Uh, just how much sense y'all got? Hello? Get on the radio or something like that. Okay, we got Who was that on the phone? We got corrupt, the DOC, simple enemy. Okay, can I answer? I need you to not curse me. You can't curse on the radio. You don't have to do that. Now look, now look. Everybody get a fair chance because that's how it is. If you want to talk, talk to me. 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 Talk
can't you guys just sense and talk? Say what you gotta say. They ain't gonna say what you gotta say without cussing. Now speak. Hello, are you there? Hello? Oh, what's up, Paul? Uh, what's up, Paul? Uh, hey, this is corrupt, and uh, you know, I'm gonna do that y'all be, you know what I'm saying, talking. We don't even know all that on that level, man. This whole conversation is still between problems on the street, to be all honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 Radio talk to gangsters and all that silly stuff. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna miss it to make money. Well, yeah, corrupt. Yeah. But sir, come up this. If this is corrupt, number one is who set it off? Well, you set it off. All right, I set it off and I talk about people who set off something talking about me and ain't giving up the real. Because I'm giving up the real because that's what I am. Hey, my homeboy DOC right here giving us the whole reason. I never said DOC. I talk to you all the time. The doctor don't know you. I don't know, fool.
So that was it, man. I mean, if you can't hear it, you I'm quite sure you can go on YouTube and find it, listen to the rest of the show. But that was basically it. They got involved in something that Easy felt like you guys should have never been here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it got rough for a minute, and then you know, easy passed. So that ended all of it. But at the time, it was on. <laughs>